Hello and welcome to the shop. Over the last couple of years, I have turned a lot of pins for you guys. I've turned acrylics and woods and I've turned antler, a lot of different materials, but I've never turned inlaced acrylester. A couple of weeks ago, I got a question from a guy over on Facebook asking questions about inlaced acrylester and I couldn't answer them because I don't know, I've never turned it. I went to wood turnings and got this blank. And I really thought it was cool because this is a money blank. This is literally ground up money and they put it in the resin and make a blank. And if you look at it, you can kind of see right there, TY. So that was either maybe a 20 or a 50. So I don't know, probably a thousand dollars in that blank. Who knows? But uh, I thought today I would turn an inlaced acrylester blank and I would give you guys a, my opinion on how it turns. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, I can give you some information while turning or after turning this that will help you in the future if you ever decide to turn one of these acrylester blanks. I'm going to treat this blank just like I would treat any normal blank. The first thing we have to do though is find it. I know that I laid it on this counter somewhere, so it's got to be around here. Let's make this a little easier on everybody. We're going to go ahead and mark it for a tube. Cutting this blank to size was no issue at all on the bandsaw. I've recently cut an alumalite blank and an acrylic blank, and while this one seemed like it provided a tiny bit more resistance to the blade, I still got a very nice smooth cut. Let's see how it drills. I'm going to stop right here. The smell of this blank reminds me a lot of acrylic. It also has, as it's drilling, it has the feel of being somewhat brittle. Now, the alumalite that I cut recently, if you've ever drilled alumalite, it drills, it cuts and drills so smoothly. I'm nervous that this blank could pose an issue with blowout when we get to the end of it. So we're going to take our time and drill as slowly as possible in hopes of avoiding that. That was probably the slowest I've ever drilled a blank, but I believe it paid off because as I broke through the bottom of the blank, I did not notice or I did not feel or hear a blowout. 
And look at that. I ended up with a really nice surface. I would say if you don't clear your bit often, and if you drill too fast, you probably will blow the end of this blank out. I'm going to go ahead and use a medium CA to glue the tube into this blank because that's what I would do on a normal blank. If there's any issue at all with slippage or the tube coming out of the blank while turning, I will let you know. Sorry, I jumped out of frame there for a second. Make sure we get the tube just inside of the blank. And now I'm not going to use any accelerator or any activator because I have been avoiding that on my acrylic blanks. I'm just going to set it here and let it dry naturally over the course of the next hour or so. I'm over at the belt sander and I'm preparing to, to true up the faces of this blank. And the one side will be no problem. There's maybe a sixteenth of an inch of material to be sanded away. Uh, the back side, however, has maybe a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch of extra material. So before I sand this, I'm going to run over to the bandsaw real quick, and I'll just cut a slice off uh, just to kind of take it down a little bit so I'm not sanding quite as much uh, on the belt sander. I'll come back after that's cut, and we'll get this, this faced up and ready to go to the lathe. I have both ends of the blank squared up and technically it is ready to go to the lathe. Now on my other YouTube channel, I post shop updates all the time and I talk about what I'm working on. And when I mentioned that I would be turning Acroluster for the first time, Joe Rasidovich piped in and told me that this stuff is very prone to chipping out on the lathe. So what I think I'm going to do is while I'm at the belt sander, I'm going to go ahead and round over these 90 degree edges and just sort of smooth the blank a little bit to hopefully avoid some of the issue that could potentially happen with chip out. I've got my blank on the mandrel and I'm ready to begin turning. Uh, I want to go back to Joe Rasidovich's comment. He mentioned that these blanks chip easily, so I wanted to make sure I had a sharp tool and I just came from my grinder where I put a fresh edge on my roughing gouge. The other thing he said is while turning these blanks, it feels like your hand is being sandblasted by glass. So that's going to be interesting and I'll give you some feedback on that um, as, as I turn. So
Thanks to the comments I got from Joe, I was much better prepared to turn this blank, and I think I got an amazing result in regard to a final finish. I'm really nice on the bushings, and I don't feel very little tool marks, if any, across the blank. I did notice an occasional sting as I was turning it. Um, the, the blank is extremely hard, and I was nervous about it dulling the tool. At one point, I thought, you know, I might actually have to... Uh, take my tool and run it back across the grinder and uh, it, it produced a very powdery uh, substance as opposed to little chips or or um, ribbons it was powder almost like the corian that I turned a few weeks back one thing I'm disappointed of is I, I did not think to paint the tube for this blank when you look at this blank here, here's the other half of it how dense it is and how thick it is I didn't think I would need to paint the tube because I didn't think there would be any chance of the tube showing. However, as you can see, I've got some gold in there. So if you get one of these blanks, definitely take the time to paint the tube. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up this dust because it's everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and sand or I should say micro mesh this blank and uh, we'll polish it up and get it ready to install on a pin kit. But I am not going to install it. And the reason why is because of the gold, I'm just not happy with how it looks. I do want to see the blank finished. I'm going to wait and I'm going to get another tube. I'll paint the tube, uh, probably green, and I'll turn the second half of the blank to make myself a really nice looking money pin. So let's go ahead, clean up a little bit and micro mesh. I've slowed the speed of my lathe down as slow as it will go. And we're just going to work through the pads and see if we can't get a a really nice finish on this plank. The surface turned out really nice and you can actually tell now that it's money you can see some of the let's see if I can read what that says um, well I can't there's such so text in there but you can actually see you know little pieces of each of the bills so it looks really nice I'm gonna go ahead and buff it up and see what it looks like All in all, I'm very happy with the blank. The only exception being the gold tube showing. I really wish I would have thought to paint that, but looking at the, the blank, it doesn't look like it'll need it. There's a white spot there, but that is inside the blank. And I did find right, give me one second to relocate it. Well, now I can't locate it. <laughs> there it is right there might be kind of hard to see right in front of my finger. See that little hole right there? There was an air bubble in the blank. Yeah, you can see it better like that. I could not see that until I buffed the blank and some of the buffing solution got into that hole and I used a little uh, needle file to clean it out. Other than that, it looks fantastic. I just, I just am really kicking myself for not painting the tube, but I know now what to do. I've got another tube right here or another blank right here. This one will be sure to paint and I will be remaking this because I think I want this for my pocket. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop for this project. Had a great time turning Acrylester for the first time. Uh, I don't really see any issue with it. Uh, it is a very hard material, 
but I think if you sand or cut the edges off to sort of round the blank up a little bit and make sure your tool is nice and sharp, use very slow, steady cuts, um, very light cuts, you really won't have any trouble with it. It finishes up beautifully. It takes a beautiful shine. Overall, I'm happy with the blank. Uh, I'm happy with Acrylester. I have two other Acrylester blanks that I've acquired, so I'll be turning those. I don't know if they'll make a video or not. We'll, we'll think about that when the time comes. I would really like to thank you for joining me in the shop. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Take care, everybody, and have a great evening.